hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm gonna go ahead and do a flip through of my 2019 christmas planner um this was last christmas this was my christmas setup in my planner i did have um lots of buffalo plaid that is my jam so i did want to show that especially since i did win that gorgeous buffalo plaid pin gem bundle um so i want to show you a flip through of that it is in my a6 rings size planner which is the planner that i was using at that time i'm not currently using that now as you guys know if you follow me um i'm using a5 and then pocket and so I'm not using my A6 rings, but I did want to go ahead and show it as one of my um, kind of Christmas um, daily videos since it is a very cute setup. It's super, super cute. I don't have any inserts in it, but I am going to show you what is in it um, and all the gorgeous decor. And if I can remember where I got everything from, I will try to link it below. Um, there's a couple of paper clips in here. I feel like I honestly can't remember where I got them from, um, but... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if maybe I can search like my Etsy orders or something and see if I can find them. So uh, first thing, I did get some wrapping done today, you guys. So I'm wearing my cute, cute, cute Happy Holiday shirt. I was talking about my shirt yesterday and this is my second favorite shirt to wear. Like I mentioned, no judgment, you guys. These are my favorite shirts. I wear them at least three times in the month of December, but I did get some wrapping done today. So look, my tree has presents. I'm so excited so i got some wrapping done today my son is like a master gangster rapper he loves to wrap presents so he definitely helped out my mom was over my sister was in um, my room and so we all were just kind of wrapping a couple of presents and kind of organizing and cleaning up a little bit more so it's not quite ready for me to do the tour yet um but i definitely will be doing that soon so i'm gonna flip this camera around and give you guys a quick little flip through of my a6 rings and again i'm gonna try to link everything down below that i can remember but if anyone notice anything and remember or have something from that company um or you like you know remember where it might be from please help other sisters out please go ahead and tag excuse me not tag but comment down below um and tell them the shop or the website or whatever but again this planner is 2019 most of this stuff i purchased in like early 2019 some even 2018 um so i may not remember it all but we gonna make it work so flip you guys around here is the planner this is an a6 rings pale studio um limited edition planner it is um the a6 rings it has the white um smooth leather has the white tee and string and then the spine is like my favorite part is this glittery green and red i don't know if this is something that she still carries in the pale studio shop but this scalloped edge is gorgeous so i will definitely link her shop down below um in hopes that you can get it so on the outside here we have the buffalo plaid um bow and then at the bottom, we have these gems here, which I did get um, to go with the planner. Jeez, can't pick it up. It is pretty much like mittens and a little stocking with the kind of green and gold beads. It's super cute. Let me try to flip this stocking around. You can see how cute it is. Look at that. So, so cute. So I love, love, love that. And then poking out of the top. I do have another buffalo plaid um, clip as well as some others. Now, if you guys remember me saying in another video how I used to make my own dividers using the um, oops, <clears throat> using the actual good grief, I cannot talk <laughs> using the um, stickers that come in the Simply Gilded sub boxes. Um, I did make my own dividers for this, but they actually were from another shop. I want to say Planner Press, but again, I'm going to try to research my orders and see if I can find it. Um, but over here on this left side. We just have a bunch of really, really cute paper clips. I'm definitely going to try to find them. I love this stethoscope one, especially with me being a nurse. This one's absolutely cute. Um, I think this one says, Dear Santa, I want it all, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Dear Santa, I want it all. Love that one. Love this bow. This coffee cup is cute. This journaling card here is Buffalo Plaid. It did come from Simply Gilded. And then this is the pen that I originally used when I was using this planner. It's a Villa Beautiful pen with these gorgeous green and red gems in it that do sparkle in the light. Of course, it's not doing it justice. Let me show it on the camera. Um, but of course, now, oh crap, where did I put it? There it is under my foot. Now I have my gorgeous pin gem pin with the buffalo plaid. So I will definitely um, replace the pin in here when I do decide to utilize this planner. But in the meantime, this will still go in my planner bag. All right, so over here we have this really cute dashboard. Um, this bow doesn't come on it. She comes with like a bunch of different options that were like spring colors and fall colors. And what I did was I realized that on the back of the bow, like right in the center was just like a little blue dot. 
And so I just removed the bow and then each season or each planner set up, whatever I was actually working on, um, I would just change the bow. So I do have a bunch of bows that I made from just regular ribbon that you get from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I've got like a fall bow, um, an Easter bow, Valentine's bow, but this Buffalo plaid, of course, is absolutely everything. I love, love, love this. So this is the front dashboard. And then behind it, I just have a piece of white cardstock, but on the other side has this really cute shimmery paper. Most of the paper in this planner are cardstock papers that come inside of one of those really big, um, like $6 scrapbook um, paper pads from Michael. So I absolutely love this. This one says, don't touch my planner. Thanks. I want to say this is from XO Mama Plans, but I'm not positive, but I am going to try to look. Um... I don't remember where I got these dashboards from, but I'm gonna try. So what I did for this one is it's a piece of vellum and I just simply folded it um, to size and then I cut slits in the first half so that I could lift it up just like you saw. And then this says do not open until December 25th and it's one of those adhesive pockets. And I just used to put like the um, like seasonal planner related stickers in here like happy mail and coffee. Those are the ones, or appointment, those are the ones that I tend to use the most. And so I put those right in there. So it's kind of like a little, you know, in planner pocket pouch for your stickers. This is the first dashboard. And so basically just make it by literally just laminating a sheet of laminated paper, like by itself. I don't put anything like any other paper, anything in it. I literally just laminate the actual sheet of paper. On the end here, you can see the um, divider tab is actually a buffalo plaid bow. And I want to say it's from Planner Press, but again, I'm going to look. And then I just inserted little pieces of like confetti and decoration. So we have like trees, Merry Christmas, a bunch of like loose confetti in here. And there's more trees and more Merry Christmas. I want to say I got these either from Hobby Lobby or from actual Michaels. The next page, um, I have this kind of um, paper clip here on the side. I, I'm going to try, y'all. I'm going to try real hard to remember where everything's from. But this is gorgeous. I love this kind of like page marker. And so this is another piece of cardstock. On the back, I have another adhesive pocket. I think I just had stickers in here that were like decorative. Um, so like not ones I would actually use, but they're just really cute. But of course, if I wanted to use them, I could. And then this um, strip of Christmas trees, I think was a roll of washi. And I just kind of cut it to size and put it on there. So this next divider has this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bow on it. It matches the one that was on the front of the planner. They did come together. And this paper clip was clipped to the binder. Excuse me, clipped to the divider. Um, but when my inserts were in here, I used to use this bow to mark that, like the actual page, like this week, but the actual mark um, on the actual page I was on for that week. So same thing, just made a divider using um, confetti and some stickers and just kind of confetti stuff. I just sprinkled in between the laminating shit and just laminated it by itself. That sounded like a cuss word. Laminating sheet. <laughs> Over here. It's just another piece of cardstock with a gorgeous red truck, which is like a huge theme. I absolutely love the red truck truck with coffee and presents and stockings and all that fun stuff. And then on the back here, I didn't do anything on this one, but this is the next divider. Same concept. And then this is another piece of cardstock. It says, Tis the season to be jolly. Love that. On the back of that one is another adhesive pocket. And this one slid open on the side, so it held like larger sheets of paper, larger stickers. And then this one is another top tab one. So this one probably marked the month, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So I usually do two kind of like major page markers so that it marks the current month and it marks the current week. And so this one's got a lot more things on it. Let me see if I can get my hand under me. Oh, here, I'll just look on this side so you can see. So it's backwards, but this one has a lot more things inside of it. But it's again, it's just clear laminated sheet that I just laminated. And then you have the next divider here, same thing. Then another piece of pretty cardstock. And this one is kind of glittery. Some of the actual confetti on there is so that one's really pretty this one's got this cute little this one's from planner monkey co i love this monkey so i definitely remember where that one's from and this says xmas shopping list this one's super super cute so it's a die cut that i just put on the front of this adhesive pocket then over here we have this piece of vellum not positive but i think this one's from exo mama plans it says organized chaos and then here is just my um, Christmas wish list sheets. I can't remember exactly where I got these from, but they were printables I think I bought online and then I just printed on them. And on here, I just kind of wrote, you know, making my list and checking it twice. And this of course is from last year. So it honestly does have, is this two pages or one? I think it's one. This honestly does have like shopping list in here of things that I was uh, planning to buy people and things that I did buy people. Like there's literally notes all up in here of different things from last year's Christmas. So this is still in here. And then the next divider, same thing. Another piece of gorgeous cardstock plain on the back, another piece of vellum. Now these two vellums in the back, I have this system that I like to do in my planner. The first one, it's just like the one in the front where it's a folded over piece of vellum and then the front is actually, um, there's slits, I can pick it up. 
There's slits cut here. This one, I do my build due date running list. I like to create a vertical list of bills. If you've been following me, you've seen it in my A5, um, or at least I've talked about it. <laughs> so I do a vertical list of bills. So that's what this was for. The first one here is for that. And then the second one, same concept. I thought this one was, you know, kind of Christmassy, plus it's darker. So I love this one because I put my passwords in this one. And so same concept. It's a piece of vellum that's folded over and on the, um, or in the front, there's the slits that are cut so that I can lift it up and easily see what I need to. And then that's the back of the planner. So back here we have another cute little Christmas um, paper clip. And then this one says, stress, bless, and Christmas obsessed. That is so me. I absolutely love Christmas season and holiday season. So the back of the planner here has another pocket and then another slit pocket back here. And this just has another piece of cardstock that came in that same paper pad all the other papers are from. And it's got another adhesive pocket on it. And I just used to tuck extra stickers in here. Um, sometimes I even stuck like coupons in here, especially if they were for like Michael's or Hobby Lobby for me to get more planner supplies i would just tuck them in there and that is it you guys that is the entire planner again this was a pale studio planner so i'll be sure to link her site i highly doubt this is available because it was limited edition um, but i absolutely had to have this one this spine is just everything but this is my a6 rings that i used last year but it's decorated christmasy and buffalo plaid and it definitely went with that gorgeous pin gem bundle i'm so so thankful um <laughs> to miss pin gems that's what i'm gonna call her miss pin gems um for allowing me to um, be a part of the bundle and to actually win it. I am so, so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am so in love with this pen, especially the gold. It's my fave. Um, so I love, 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 love that pen. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me flip it back around real quick. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and are enjoying your family and holiday times already and getting things decorated and presents wrapped and all that fun stuff. So thank you for joining me on another video and clicking on it and watching it. I hope that you enjoyed. If you're not a part of SP Fam, please consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram. See you in the next one. Bye.